Temperance Boating's brother, Jerome Boating, has pleaded guilty uh, to assaulting his ex-girlfriend. Uh, claims that he initially had denied. Uh, in light of that, uh, Prince Boating has distanced himself from his brother. We're we'll looking into more details on that. We're also going to talk about a comment passed by Manuel Ajimang Bedu. Uh, he talked about the fact that locally based players uh, playing in the qualifiers might not be the best for them. We'll see what he meant by that comment. As usual, uh, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So last night, it was breaking news from Built and they announced or confirmed that Jerome Watting who has left Bayern Munich currently. Uh, he is with Lyon in France and uh, this was part of the reasons why he was allowed to leave and not giving a new contract by Bayern Munich. He has been found guilty of assaulting his ex-girlfriend. And now the story says that Bild reported in the evening after his appearance in court on Munich on Friday a Leon defender, Jerome Boateng, was found guilty of assaulting his ex-girlfriend in an altercation during a holiday which was reported in 2018. The former Bayern man had been sentenced to pay the victim 1.8 million euros in damages, uh, consisting of 60 daily payments of 30,000 euros each. Boateng and his ex-girlfriend gave contrasting accounts of what happened on a vacation night on the Tex and Caicos Islands. According uh, to the prosecutor's office, the former German international is said to have thrown a glass lantern and a cooler bag of drinks at her, allegations which had been denied by Jerome Boating. And Kevin Prince Boating, his brother, uh, Ghanaian of course, has distanced himself from his brother owing to that. He says, I've already distanced myself from Jerome for a long time. I appreciate and respect German law. I despise violence against women. I don't identify with the actions of my brother and therefore I have nothing to do with him anymore. Wow. I talk about a break up of family but uh, this is what has happened and reportedly this is why Jerome Boateng was not offered a new contract by FC Bayern Munich. They saw this coming. They knew that he was going to plead guilty and that is why they allowed him to leave without a contract extension for the German club. He's currently with Lyon and has been found guilty of this Kevin Prince Boateng. That has been his reaction to his brother being found guilty of this. He has been fined 1.8 million euros, 30,000 euros in payment a day he has to make and it's quite unfortunate this happened to an amazing player. Uh, well, the best of us have our faults but some are serious and this one is a serious one on the front of Jerome Boateng, Kevin Prince Boateng reacting there. My next story has to do with German Bedu Emanuel. He insists that home base players cannot play qualifiers. What exactly do you mean by that? Well we'll find out today. Now the former Black Stars midfielder believes that home base players cannot play qualifiers being it FIFA World Cup or African Cup of Nations due to the pressure he says you remember i brought you that story about fatal mohammed uh, confessing that he was scared of the way the fnb stadium is huge and that really affected his performance he had a horror show especially in the first half and even the ball deflected off him into the back of the net for the only goal south africa scored the black stars have received a lot of backlash following their defeat against south africa in the world cup qualifiers and the technical handlers of the team have failed to give local players the opportunity to feature regularly for the Black Stars as foreign based players are, are preferred. However, a section of Ghanaians have clamored for the inclusion of local players in the Black Stars setup after an uninspiring performance in recent times. But according to the 30 year old who currently plies his trade with Chinese based uh, King Gado FC, he supports the idea of you would call such players in for qualifiers look at what happened to Fatal. he confessed that he was scared scared because of the size of the fnb stadium yeah he was scared of the size of the fnb stadium and that is quite unfortunate but he was being honest and that is the truth the pressure can get to them and they might be intimidated by the enormity of the task and that could lead to them failing 
in such games and uh, it's something that needs to be looked at closely because uh, we want them to feel a part of the team we want them to feel that they are wanted and they can compete on the same level but the truth is that the standard of playing in ghana here would never get to the level of that those playing europe experience and the truth is that we need to up our game here some things that need to be taught at the basic level in the local league is not taught and many players who go on to play for the national team you later realize that they do not have the basics down and it's not the time in that national team for them to be taught that so the problem now starts from where they learn their trade and most of them learn it locally and the local standards might not be up to the best possible standards accepted across the world and that's the truth and that is why you need to integrate them gently into friendly if you want them to play in qualifiers introduce them when the game is more or less done and dusted and that is exactly what Emmanuel Achiman Bedu means here don't put them into high pressure games uh, where it's a do or die affair when Ghana needs the win uh, integrate them calmly through friendlies when games are already won and those things and I think he is making a solid point let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this one here so that has been it for today Kevin Prince Boating denying and denouncing his brother after he pleaded guilty to assaulting his ex-girlfriend and Manuel Ajiman Bedou on his thoughts on how to integrate locally based players into the Ghana Black Stars. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the week.